Leo, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be a general reading for the sun sign of Leo, not sun sign, sorry, for the zodiac sign of Leo. This is a general reading, will not resonate with every Leo person out there. This is also not sun, moon, or Venus sign specific. This is for any Leo placement that you may have in your chart. Um, the reading does not resonate. You're free to check out any of the other 11 videos up. You may find messages there. Contact information is in the description box as well as the link to your romance specific reading. And we're going to jump right in. You clearly have something to say very clearly. So we're going to jump right in. This is for Leo first week Eve, Eve of August. All right. Bottom of the deck this week, we're looking at the Four of Swords. Leo, let's see. Can we see? There we go. Four of Swords. Taking a break, are we? Or someone has been taking a break, taking some time to themselves, resting, meditating, connected with their higher self, but with something on their mind, right? Sword right here represents a particular thought, a particular situation that someone is replaying or thinking about or meditating on, trying to find answers to, you know, trying to connect to their higher self about this particular information um, situation. Right, as you can see, not really thinking about anything else but this right by the side. Okay, so some of you could actually be um, having surgery, had surgery, recovering. This indicates you're going to recover quite nicely. Okay, take your time, rest, recover. All righty, so we are starting with the past energy of the Two of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. So somebody was juggling here very clearly, juggling either responsibilities, thoughts, ideas. Um, you know, actions in which they could potentially take, but somebody was definitely juggling here. Maybe someone had a lot on their plate, someone couldn't make up their mind, and it became burdensome. Whether this be you or someone that's in your environment that you may be dealing with this week, definitely became burdensome, or someone definitely has too much going on, right? This is like kind of definitely doing too much energy, like you're doing too much. You've got way too much stuff going on here. None of your hands are available in these two pictures these two depictions you or someone else right so someone is extremely overwhelmed is what i'm hearing too overwhelmed lots on their plate juggling and maybe also the thinking this could also be thinking but it is pentacles so this definitely could be work life home life all these sort of things our day-to-day -day responsibilities right that's becoming overwhelming or someone can't just make it they can't make up their mind and it's becoming overwhelming because they can't make up their mind all right in your present position, we're looking at the Page of Swords with the Ace of Swords. Lots of air sign energy here. Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius could be s significant for you, but someone is definitely watching, studying, um, gathering information. This could be you or this could be someone that you're dealing with because there seems to be a conversation of some sort of truth that is coming in here. Victory also with that Ace of Swords, but truth, clarity, conversation, right? Someone is definitely gathering their information either because they want to speak something or a conversation is coming where you will get the information in which you need. This could definitely be you in this juggling situation and maybe this juggling of the situation has become quite burdensome for you, right? Or whoever this is, they're finally just going to ready to just talk about it because it's too much, right? It's too much. Something needs to be said. The truth needs to be expelled and expressed for this burden to be released, for this two of swords, two of pentacles to stop juggling. But this has been, this is definitely someone that's been a lot of thinking. Four of swords, resting, meditating, thinking, contemplating, two of pentacles, juggling concepts, ideas, 10 of swords, carrying a lot. It's a lot for whoever this is. This definitely could be someone that you're dealing with, spending a lot of time in the brain here. Can't make a decision. But it looks like a decision has to be made and will be made with that Ace of Swords. And in your future position, we're coming in with the Emperor Energy and the Ace of Cups. So two Aces here. This definitely could be a situation regarding love for some of you. Maybe with an Aries could be significant. The letter W or M could also be significant. But somebody's ready to express and um, open up here emotionally. And it's very good that we're seeing the Emperor with this Ace of Cups because the Emperor on itself is a very um, strong, demeaned person because this person usually has a lot of responsibilities. So you definitely could be dealing with an Emperor energy, someone that, you know, has businesses, homes, family, like, you know, lots of things that they deal with on a day to day basis. Right. Someone with a lot of responsibility, someone that's in charge of a lot of things. This could be you as well. And maybe this is what kept you kind of cold, not really connected to your emotions, really in your head really in your head really overthinking to the point where it became burdensome 
So we're cutting through that. Somebody's ready to cut through that. And the sword does belong to the emperor. Someone's ready to offer love. Someone's ready to open up. Right? Someone that is very usually sturdy in their emotions, but it seems like it's, a, it's, it's, it's long overdue. And it could be definitely to some sort of earth sign. You could be representing this earth sign. I mean, queen of, queen of pentacles, earth sign. Taurus, Cancer, um, no, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo could be significant. This definitely could be you. Minding your business, tending to your garden, very successful on your own, very nurturing. You know, someone definitely either wants to have some sort of conversation to you because I mean, yeah. Right? Someone definitely wants to express something. They're definitely perceiving you as someone that's worth investing in because that was what the Queen of Pentacles is all about, male or female just means that you're not taking any action you're preserving your energy because with all this going on you know that it's not something that's worth investing in at this time or as it was in the past state but something is definitely ready to change some truth is about to happen i think this person has been in their head and been observing long enough this is definitely someone with a lot of responsibilities though let's get some oracles for you leo first week of august what do we have for leo Messages for their greatest and highest good. Maybe this person, you know, they know a relationship would be additional responsibility, right? If this person has a lot of responsibility already, or this could be you. Really have to really, really been contemplating whether or not to take this on. But it definitely seems like there's going to be a breakthrough. I'll take this as well because it flipped out. So believe in yourself. Squirrel spirit and crow spirit co-create with spirit. So number 57 and 17, which is an eight. Believe in yourself. This could also be why this overthinking was going on. Someone has a confidence issue here. Lack of self-confidence, lack of belief may be very strong in work and other aspects of their life. But when it comes to emotions, not so much. But I think they're about to figure it out, right? I think they're about to unlock this aspect because they need to. Believe in yourself is the guidance and crow spirit, co-create with spirit. So this is definitely messenger energy as well. Birds bring messages, especially the crow. Usually of some sort of transformation, right? Some sort of transformation also represented with that crow spirit, but definitely communication, things changing, information being presented, definitely. Either you're about to receive some sort of information or someone is going to, um, or you're going to present some someone with the truth is what I'm feeling. All right, let's get some Moonology for Leo. That could also be you, Leo, definitely, but I think you're more coming in as this Queen of Pentacles. Minding your business. You and your loved ones are safe. New Moon in Cancer. So this could definitely be a thing. If you're dealing with some sort of emperor energy, male or female, doesn't matter. Someone with a lot of responsibilities, maybe with some... Emperor is usually the father as well. Someone with kids, you know, businesses, maybe a lot of finances as well. Acquired, really acquired their success. Someone could definitely be worried that that could be affected by this relationship. That could be you. You don't want this relationship or anyone coming into your life to affect any type of stability that you've worked so hard to create for yourself, right? But I think the emotions are a little bit um, much. They're a little bit much for whoever this is, and I think they need to be expressed because it's creating a lot of tension and burden. And at least once it's expressed, this overthinking juggling burdensome meditative state can be complete and you'll have the answers in which you need which is the ace of swords right all right one card for leo what do they need to know first week of august that's too many i'll take the first one pillar of light your vibration is rising you are the oracle definitely i think this is you you're right this the, the highly intuitive one the one that's deeply connected with their spiritual self and intuition, definitely um, earth sign energy, right? Whether you have earth in your chart or not, being in tune makes you very in tune with the earth, right? So you are the pillar of light. You're helping someone really see something for what it is here, with it, whether in their own life or about themselves. 
You're really helping someone see the reality of things. Someone, yep, hermit underneath the four of swords, Virgo energy, or more earth energy. Could be you, definitely. But someone, you're helping someone wisen up here. You're helping someone learn some vital lessons, which is always a good thing, right? Because we know we've been through our fair share. <laughs> we've been through our fair share, so by all means, the more people learning lessons, the less assholes of it eventually will have to deal with right that's how i think about it but this is a beautiful message i hope it resonates for all of you most of you if it does thumbs me up leave me a comment and i will see you all next week mm -hmm.